Hello, my name is Tomasz Fudala. I'm the Technical Marketing Manager for Structure at Autodesk. During this video, you will learn how to leverage the link between Autodesk Revit and Robot Structure Analysis Professional and how to perform structure analysis and explore results of this analysis in Robot. This advanced link is a fully bidirectional link. The link can be found on the Analyze tab on the Structure Analysis panel. When the integration with Robot Structure Analysis dialog box is opened, I can decide if I want to send my model to Robot for analysis or update the already analyzed model in Revit. In this case, I'm sending my analytical model with loads and boundary conditions defined directly to Robot. In Robot, I can review my transfer model, I can display and review my transfer load cases. Before I run the analysis, I should do a few things. First of all, I should define the parameters of my meshing. Powerful mesh generation techniques allow engineers to effortlessly work with even the most complex models. Native automatic mesh generation and manual definition of mesh parameters can be manipulated independently for each panel. This provides the ability to create a high quality finite element mesh. I can generate meshing for the whole structure or only for selected elements, so let's generate meshing for the entire structure and quickly review it. It looks good, so now it's time to define a type of analysis. I'm going to define the simplified seismic analysis. Applying this approach needs definition of a load case of a separate analysis type, seismic equivalent lateral force method. The simplified seismic analysis can be defined from the Analyze Type dialog box. Using this dialog box, I can define many different types of analysis. Using this method requires the definition of the stories of the building in the model. They were automatically created when I transferred the model from Revit. I will only rename them. These stories can be also presented using different colors. Let's go back to the definition of my seismic analysis. In the seismic analysis dialog box I can specify a seismic code. Here I can define directions of eccentricities and next the combinations between them. I'm also going to specify the range of the seismic loads. Once I close the windows with parameters of seismic analysis, two seismic load cases for X and Y direction and four combinations between them have been generated. Now let me define the automatic load combinations according to the selected design code. These combinations will be generated during calculations. OK, now I'm good to go and run calculations. Once my calculations are done and the results are available, here you can see the list of generated load combinations. I can explore the results of my analysis for every simple load case or load combinations. So now, let's take a closer look at the results. I can use the Diagrams for Bars option to display structure deformation and the diagrams of selected forces on structure members. If I am interested in specific forces, stresses, deformations, etc., I can just select them in the Diagram dialog to gain additional information necessary for decision-making and further iteration. I can also specify the method for displaying the diagrams on the structure. The other way of presenting the results is by the use of tables. The table option is used to display tables for the presentation of data selected by the engineer. Let me open the table of reactions. 
Tabular results may be easily filtered and sorted to show the specific data which engineers are looking for and easily exported to spreadsheets for post-processing of data. I can also present the results as maps. I can use the Maps dialog to present colorful maps of isolines or displacements, moments, stresses, etc. obtained during structure analysis to provide a visual snapshot of the behavior of the building structure. Robot Structural Analysis Professional is a powerful tool not only for calculations but also for visual exploration of results. Thanks to many different ways of presenting analytical results and the ease of access to them, structural engineers can very quickly prepare the final structural documentation for review and input by project stakeholders.